A balanced equation has equal numbers of atoms of each element on both sides of the equation. So I'm going to list out each of my elements that are involved in the equation. Phosphate, I'm going to go ahead and keep together because I have it on both sides of the equation. You can separate it if you would like. So I have one calcium, two oxygen, five hydrogen, and one phosphate on the reactants. Three calcium, one oxygen not involved in phosphate, two hydrogens, and two phosphates. So I can only add coefficients to balance the equation. I leave hydrogen and oxygen to the end usually. So I have three calcium on the product, so I need to add a three in front of calcium hydroxide. That's going to change everything in front of it. So I have three calcium, six oxygen, and nine hydrogens. I also need to fix my phosphates, so I can put a two there. That gives me six plus six, which is 12 hydrogens. So my hydrogens are messed up. So I can put a six, giving me 12, and then that's a six oxygen. Notice it's now balanced. In front of calcium phosphate is a one. You can leave it blank or you can put a one, but make sure that you know that's not a zero. Go ahead and pause the video and try balancing this one on your own. So I list out my elements. I have aluminum, oxygen, hydrogen, and chlorine. One aluminum, three oxygen, four hydrogen, and one chlorine on their reactants. One aluminum, three chlorine, two hydrogen, and one oxygen on the products. So I'm going to fix my chlorine first, which gives me six hydrogen and three chlorine. And now I'm going to fix my hydrogens. If I put a three in front, that's going to give me six, and that also fixes my oxygen. Remember, those are really ones there, so I have one, three, one, three. Or the sum of the coefficients is seven. Go ahead and pause the video and try this one on your own. So listing out your elements, you have two gold, so I have two gold. Three sulfur, I need a three there, and that's six hydrogen, so I'm going to need a three here. Double check everything is correct, and it is, so that gives me D as in dog. Converting between one substance to another is stoichiometry. You have to balance the equation, convert whatever they give you to moles, use appropriate mole ratios, which you get from a balanced equation, to convert moles of one substance to another, and then convert back to grams or whatever substance you're trying to convert to. So first thing you're going to need to do is balance the equation. Correctly balanced, it should be one, two, one, two. I'm going to start with 30 grams of water, and I should be converting to methane. Anytime it says how much of something, go ahead and convert it to grams. So I have 30 grams of water. First step was to convert it to moles. So one mole equals 18 grams for water. Next, I have to have moles of water on bottom, so my units cancel. And I'm converting to methane, so I have to go to moles of methane. Look at your balanced equation. I have a 1 in front of CH4 and a 2 in front of water. You only look at the balanced equation for the moles over moles. Finally, I'm going to convert it to grams, so 1 mole of methane equals 16 grams. Multiply and divide, and you should get 13.3 grams.
Go ahead and pause the iPod and try this one on your own. So your balanced equation should have been 212. We have 5 grams of oxygen. Remember that oxygen is diatomic. So 32 grams of oxygen equal 1 mole. Looking at my balanced equation, I'm going from moles of oxygen to moles of water. Two waters for every one oxygen. Again, I'm going to go to grams, so that's one mole of water equals 18 grams. Multiply, then divide, and you get 5.6 grams of water. Go ahead and try this one on your own, restarting the video when you have it. So this one was already balanced, so if you skipped it, shame on you. We have 1.0 times 10 to the second grams. Don't worry that it's in scientific notation, it's solved the same way. We need to convert those grams to moles. So one mole is 138 grams. Our ratio is one to one. Although it's one to one, plug it in anyway so your work is properly shown. And finally, one mole of C4H6O3 weighs 102 grams. So that's 73.9 grams of C4H6O3. Go ahead and try this last one. Restart when you have it. It's the same equation, so it's already balanced. We're starting with the same amount of the same substance. We're just converting to a different product. one to one mole ratio and finally one mole equals 180 grams for C9H8O4. So you should have gotten 130.4 grams.